calling support. How may I help you? Uh, hi, I got a call saying something was wrong with my computer. When did you get the call, sir? Uh, it was earlier. I was out this morning. I think it was sometime this morning, I think. Could have been late last night. All right. Well, sir, the call was made to inform you that your computer is facing problems as your security program has become outdated. And okay. we had seen certain malicious links coming in from your computer network. Well, that's not good. Yeah. So, sir, uh, we re recommend you that you go ahead and get your security program updated so that you have a good security and all your information doesn't get compromised. Okay, how do I do that? Just buy something at the store or...? Sir, you can either buy a security program at the store or if you want, I can go ahead and help you with it. Right oh. here. Okay. Well, yeah, it'd be easier if you help me with it. Sure. So, are you in front of your computer right now? Uh, yeah, I am. All right. Do you see on your keyboard there is a Microsoft key there in the bottom left? Um, I don't see a Microsoft key. Not there's. I see. Are you using an Apple? No, it's a it's a Asus laptop. It's a Windows, but there's a CTRL and FN, and then one with four little squares, and then an Alt. Right. That is the one with the squares, the four squares. Oh, the squares, one. okay. That is the Microsoft key. Okay. Yeah, so hold it down, press and keep it down, and uh, without releasing it, press the letter R. R. Like in Romeo, yeah, like Richard. Okay, a, a box popped up that says run, type the name of a program, folder, right. document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. Now in that box, go ahead and type. I explore. That is I E X P L O R E L O R E R E R or just R E? No, it's just just R E. Okay, R E. Okay, I explore. Now hit on OK. Uh, okay. Now, now I don't. When you do that, you would see. Internet Explorer coming up on your screen, right? Okay, yeah, I normally use Google. I mean, I normally use um, the Chrome browser. No problem, sir. Here, the reason why I'm using Internet Explorer is because Internet Explorer doesn't get problems. Okay. As of now, because this problem that is coming up is coming up from Google Chrome. So okay. I'm not taking the risk of connecting your computer to the server with Google Chrome. I'll do it with Internet Explorer. When okay. I'm connected, then I'm going to go ahead and fix it up, all right? All right. Yeah, it's okay, it's open so on Internet Explorer. It's uh, it's on the Google page. Okay, now on the very top, do you see the address bar starting with HTTP? Yeah. Go to that bar and make it blank. Delete oh. everything from that bar. Okay. And then go ahead and type there www dot www dot fastsupport.com that is f a s t s u p p o r t oh fastsupport.com right fastsupport.com okay and then hit enter all right it's um it's doing something Gonna take it to a step. Yeah, it's gonna take it to a page that says established support connection. Yeah, it's, it's there now. It's asking for a name. Right. Type in your name there, and I'm gonna help you with the support key. So type in your name there. Okay. And then it is asking for a support key. All right. For the support key, you gotta enter the numbers eight three one. Eight three one four six four six oh no no sir four zero six oh four zero six four zero six four three eight four three eight okay now hit on continue continue and it says 
run, go to assist, opener. Right. Now have a look in the bottom of the screen. You would see that there is a bar that giving you an option of run, save, and cancel, right? Right. Please click on run. Click on run, okay. And it says downloading, running security scan. Mm -hmm. Go to opener. A box popped up. Says go to opener initializing, and then it's doing a bunch okay. of stuff. It's got like one of those progress bars. Okay. It's halfway through. Initialization. Right? Yeah. It's, it's going to ask you, do you want to allow the following program make changes to the computer? It, Please hit on yes and back. Okay. Yeah, the progress bar is still there. Connecting to go to assist. User account control. Yeah, hit on yes. Yes. Okay. All right, the boxes went away. It's back to oh no, wait. Now it's doing something. Mm -hmm. it says I can't. All right, now hit on yes. It gives you my name there, Joyce. Uh huh. Please hit on yes. Okay. Okay, here. Oh, now the mouse right. is moving. Okay, now do you see the mouse moving on your screen? Yeah. Right, uh, now I request you to please leave the mouse and let me see what the problem is. Okay. And as I do that, I would like to ask you what exactly do you do on this computer normally? Um, just do things like go into YouTube and Facebook and I haven't had it that long. A friend gave it to me. Um, but I just go to like Facebook. I think my wife does banking stuff on it. So, any kind of online shopping, paying your credit card statement, or looking at your bank statements? Looking at bank stuff, bank yeah. On this computer? I don't know if we've done any online shopping yet on this one, but we look at bank stuff. Okay, you look at bank stuff. All right. Now, uh, tell me just one thing. Do you have any kind of security on this computer? Uh, I think you do your banking here. Just the so micro. You have a security program, right? Just the Microsoft, whatever comes with the Windows. It's like that. Okay, so you just have the Windows. Just have the Windows security. No additional security has been installed. As far as I know, um, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything additional. All right, not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. We'll uh, check into that. Now, if you have a look here. In the very bottom, do you see this network access protection? Uh huh. That is the main protection for your network, right? It protects your computer and all the devices that are connected on the same network from any kind of problems. Oh. All right. It makes sure that all the good files are coming inside and all the bad files are going to crash. All right. Right. But that filtration happens when it's running. Right now, it is off. That means it is not running. Right. It says it's not running. Right. How did it get so turned it off? Sir, look, when you do Facebook, right, uh -huh. what happens is a lot of problems come inside. Like, I'll show you. Just, there's one problem here that's... Now, if you have a look here uh -huh. on the screen, you would see, you see this here? Yeah. Just read it. A network worm that yourself, attacks... You understand. Oh, oh, yeah, this worm... Originally targeted users of a network and websites like Facebook, Skype, any messenger, email. Yeah, I definitely use Facebook and and YouTube. Now, if you, uh, if you have a look on the next article, it says it's a computer worm which spreads via social networking sites. Most social networking spams and scams spread on social networks because users inadvertently recommend them to their friends. Group right. phase is different. It actively infects your PC and then it deliberately propagates itself via social networking sites. Oh. All right? Yeah. So 
this is one thing that happened all right now along with that now if you have a look here into the second thing here all right yeah now this is happening when cool face comes inside your computer because when you use social networking your computer gets open right becomes an open gate so in that ma uh, fashion this thing is what happens all right yeah Corona's computer security man in the middle of the attack the attacker Huh. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Nope. Oh. All right. And one last thing that I would like to educate you about would be this one. Keystroke logging. Now. Recording the keys are going to keyboard. So that would like keep track of everything you're typing or places you go. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. So when your computer gets the coop face problem, all right, the, these kind of things happen, all right. So like it would know stuff that now, I'm typing in. So we need to go ahead and update your security and your, we need to first clean the computer, then we got to go ahead and fix up the computer, the security as well, right? Uh, okay. Now what's all that stuff? We, I'm just running a scan to see if Coopfish actually exists here or not. Oh. Right? All right. It says Coopfish detected. You see the last line here after Glenn? Yeah. So Coopfish is there. So now if the Coopfish is inside your computer, then getting keystroke logging in, man in the middle attack is a very normal thing to happen because that is going to happen no matter what happens if Coopfish exists. Right? All right. Well, how, so how does this get on here? How did that? You had me read that, but I don't. Remember. How does the the cube fail? How does like this worm or this virus thing get on the computer? You just go. Sir, when you use yeah, when you use Facebook on the computer, uh -huh. right? What happens is that whenever, whenever you are sending messages or you are you know updating your status or looking at notification, anything you do at that point of time, if there is someone on the internet trying to create problems. He can't send the coop face till the time your computer is logged on to Facebook, uh, right? Till the yeah. time it's logged on to the Facebook account, it will continuously receive the coop face problem, all right? And you'd think Facebook you would fix computer, that. Yeah, that, that's gonna come in and create issues, all right? And that is exactly what has been done and you didn't know about it, right? Yeah. All right, now, do you see the number of events here on the very top? Uh-huh. That happens to be the total number of problems existing on this computer right now. Wow, it's also the sign of the devil. That's not good. Yeah, yeah, triple six. Yeah. That's the sign of the devil as well, Satan, right? So, yeah, yeah that's the problem here. Bizarre. So, you can, you, you, the number itself defines that I am problems. I am a problem. That affects me. And that's exactly what has happened here. Now, uh, you must be knowing the fact that every computer comes up with some inbuilt securities that are that, and services rather that are given to it by Microsoft so that it can function in a normal fashion and can support all the applications that are installed on in it, right? Well, that's what they say. They have security stuff in there, so I assume it was secure. No, uh, I'm talking about I'm, to I'm I'm talking about this I'm talking about the services. Yeah. 
that yeah that there are sort of services that are given to Microsoft Corporation so that the computer can run normally and can support all the applications that are installed on it. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. But uh, to the surprise, you can see on your screen right now all the Microsoft Corporation services have stopped. See that? Yeah, shouldn't those be running? Pardon me? Or shouldn't those be running? Are they normally stopped or? No, they should all be running, but they are not running because problem came inside and created issues for them. So, so, now so that's that. that all, that's that all virus. That comes, uh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. It all comes down to that thing itself, that that virus is the cause for all the problems on this computer. It looks like it's doing a lot of, pro a lot of damage. Absolutely, sir. It's not a lot of problems. So is there a way to know how much that anybody has stole or anything? No. Uh, you tell me one thing. Did you face any problems with your banking details or something like that? Not yet. We haven't, I mean, you mean like people, oh, yeah, all right. nothing's stolen or anything yet. As far as I know, my wife actually okay, does the so, banking stuff, but she hasn't mentioned it. Okay, so uh, if, if that hasn't been mentioned yet, so as of now, you are safe, but uh, I would recommend that, you know, you update your security ASAP so that this problem gets eliminated and you don't get any more problems or you don't get problems. Okay. Well, how do I do that? Right. First of all, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and fix up this computer. Right? So as of now, we know if first we need to clean up this computer. We need to fix it up. We're going to need to, you know, rev it all up so that all the problems are removed. And after that, we need to go ahead and upgrade your security so that you have a good security with you. And as I know, you don't have a security. You told me yourself that you have the one given by Microsoft, right? Yeah, as far as I know, I know, I'm looking, like I said, I got this from my friend, Glenn, and he didn't, I don't know if he put anything special on there. We've had it for a while, and I, right. I haven't had a problem, but. Okay, how old is this computer, can you tell me? Um, it's actually kind of old, it's like, I think he said it was like four years old, or five years old, he got a new one, so he gave, he gave me this one. Okay. Now, you can see here, it says you're running malware by three, right? Right, is that a, oh, he, yeah, he did tell me there was something on here for something. Is that what that is, malware bytes? Now, just, just look in here on the screen, it says you're running malware bytes free. Upgrade to premium to get real-time protection from ransomware and other threats. So you need to upgrade to premium to get real-time protection. So you would have to go ahead and upgrade you'd have to go ahead and purchase something so that you can get a good protection right 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 so as of now it's it's yeah as of now it's a good for nothing so when we first of all we need to go ahead and clean up this computer all right we yeah i think this computer first i think when he to take care of the security i think when he gave it to me he had to take a bunch of stuff off so he could use it on his other computer he might have had other security so, on here before he gave it to me, and then and then he he said he had to clean it off. But I thought the regular so Windows possible. stuff would do it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was protected by okay, the Windows so, stuff. All right, so now look, uh, this computer is a Windows Seven computer that you're using right now, right? Uh huh. And it's approximately it's a, a, approximately four to five years old, right? Right. Now. It's good, yeah, it's good to go for another five to six years without problems because it's a Windows 7, pretty good configured computer. And if you have a look here, I'm going to show you something. Now, if you have a look here, it has a 4 GB of RAM, processor is i5, right? Right. Yeah, so you have a pretty good processor, you have a good memory, you have a good RAM as well. So you don't have to worry about anything. Your computer is good to go for another five to six years. Well, that's right? good. That's good. Yeah, so you don't have to worry for your computer for the next five to six years. So I'm going to go ahead and fix up the computer first, and then I'm going to go ahead and suggest you good security as well. All okay. Right? 
Sounds good. Okay. So first of all, we want to go ahead and clean the computer. All right? All right. Then we want to go ahead and resolve all the issues that are being faced. Then I'm going to go ahead and delete all the unwanted files and folders. All right? Yep. Then I'm going to go ahead and restart all the services. Then I'm going to go ahead and speed up the computer a little, because it's not running like a normal Windows 7. So I'm going to speed it up, all right? Right. And along with that, I'm going to go ahead and clean the network. I'm going to remove all the people who are trying to unauthorizingly access your computer. And along with that, I'm going to go ahead and optimize your system, all right? So all right. that there are no problems in and around the vicinity of this co computer, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on it. And there would be a one-time standard charge, okay? Okay. That's gonna be $199 for you. Okay. Right, this is a one-time payment. You never have to pay it again. You just pay today, and then you don't have to worry about the computer, okay? Yeah, I guess that's not too bad, especially since I got the computer for free. <laughs> okay. So, um, now, I would request you to please provide me certain information here, okay? All right. Would you type in your name, your email, your phone number, and your billing address here for me? Oops, it's like I got the capitals mixed up. Cap locks. Oh well. Sorry, I'm not that good at typing. No problem, sir. Take your time. Nice shoes. Okay. All right. Just a moment here. Okay. Uh, Herschel. That's the name, right? Yeah. Herschel. Yeah, Herschel. Krustowski. Krust Krustowski. Okay. All right. I'm sorry about that. Uh, That's all right. Okay. Uh, it's not an easy one to pronounce. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, uh, so Herschel, which card will you be using today for the payment? Will it be a Visa, Master, Mac, and Express Discover? Um, a MasterCard, I think. Yeah, I'll just use a MasterCard. MasterCard, okay. So now, MasterCard, grab a card if you have it with you. So let me make a note. What's the name of the company that's going to show up, just so I can tell my wife, because she does the billing. Okay, she got the billing, okay. Just so I can tell her when she sees the MasterCard bill, what's the what is it? Microsoft that'll be on the bill. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, so as of now, I'm gonna take the details, and when uh, I give you all the documents on your email, all the legal documents, then I will tell you what exactly the name would be that will be okay. in the card statement. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, please type in your numbers here. Don't say it over the phone, just type it there. Okay. I have to look at the card and then look back down at the keyboard. Yeah. 
And this is the number on the back, right? So Yes, the there. number on the back. Oop, what's that? Something just popped what up. Happened? Something just popped up. It says do oh. you... Okay. Alright, now type in the expiration date. Oops. Oop. Go ahead, type. You want to put the put that back in, or no, no, just type in the date. Oh, okay. And the name is the same on the card. Not type in a name, please. The it's the same name. You want me to retype it? Yeah, it's the same as your name, or there's a middle initial as well. Um, no, I don't have a middle initial. Should just be the same name. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to type it in? No, 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 no issues. So how long does it take to do this stuff? Pardon me, sir? How long does it take to do all this work? Just give me two minutes, sir, sir. I'm uh, talking to the police department to forward the case. Just give me two minutes, sir. Okay. Oop, something got deleted there. You there? <laughs> 